Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my GTA Online Signal Jammer Guide. In this guide, I'll be showing you all 50 locations of the Signal Jammers, which will unlock AV Schwartzman as a hacker inside of the Casino Heist. Now, instead of going over every single location, I'll only be doing some commentary over the ones which are a little bit more difficult to spot. Now, in order to collect these Signal Jammers, you will have to destroy them, which you can do with a variety of different ways. First of all, you can decide to just simply use a regular weapon, or you can also decide to use a lock-on missile like for example on a buzzard or an oppressor mark 2 just to give two quick examples here this is obviously the easiest way to do it because it will save you a bunch of time of getting out of your chopper getting your weapon and then shooting it so obviously this is the best and easiest way to go about it however I've decided to you make sure that it's clear from a sniper rifle perspective or a regular gun perspective as well having said that the third one is a little bit more difficult to spot because you can go about this one in two different ways like I said before with a lock on missile or you can go across the street then climb a few things to get on the roof and then take it down with a sniper rifle from a distance The fourth one is also a little bit more difficult to spawn. You just have to look above the word ban on the billboard and it will be over there. The fifth one is also a little bit more difficult to spot. It's in the middle of the peak of the building. You can shoot it from the ground with a sniper rifle. That's entirely possible. Obviously, you need to get the right angle for it, but you should be all right. But obviously, getting onto the roof and just shooting it with a gun that way or using a lock-on missile is much easier. For the seventh signal jammer, it's definitely a good idea to get on the roof across of the crane to make your shot a lot easier. The eighth one is a little bit more difficult to spot because it's in a pretty dark place and the only way to recognize it is by the two blinking red lights. But if you're following what's going on in the video, you should be able to find it very easily. For the 11th one, you're gonna have to be on the same roof as the signal jammer is. I've tried sniping it from afar from the highway, however, it is just simply not going to show up and it does despawn. So keep in mind that if you're shooting these signal jammers, if you're too far away, they will simply not spawn. For the 12th one, make sure you're on the north side of the hospital so you don't get confused. The 13th one, I honestly would advise you to use uh, a helicopter or whatever in order to get this one. It is possible to snipe it, but it can be a little bit difficult to spot.
16th one is definitely one you're gonna need a helicopter for in order to reach it. I've tried shooting it from the ground, but it seems to be pretty impossible. So just to be safe, grab a helicopter, make your life a lot easier. Eighteenth one, I'm just gonna give a quick uh, shout here because it's literally right in the middle of the Ferris wheel in case it's hard for you to spot. For the nineteenth one, it's really a good idea to get across the street at the Burger Shot rooftop and snipe it from that way, it's much easier to reach. The 20th one, you want to be on the helipads in order to be able to shoot this one very easily. The 26th one is a little bit difficult during the night. I'm saying that because there's a red blinking light which basically blocks any sort of vision that you have of the item itself. Obviously, you can still see the red blinking lights going on. However, it can be a bit difficult to spot. Funny enough though, at 3am that issue seemed to be gone away compared to doing it at 12am. This could however be a visual bug. 27th one can be a little bit difficult to spot as well, especially because there's a lot of other red blinking lights going on. But you can easily recognize it by it being the top middle one to shoot.
The 35th one is also able to be shot from the ground. However, it's definitely a lot easier to go to that little roof it's on and then try to melee it. That was of course a joke because as you could see, not a good idea. Just shoot it instead. The 38th one is going to be a little bit more difficult to spot because it's all the way up atop of the radio tower left of the Sandy Shores Hospital. So once again, really good idea to start using a helicopter or a presser or whatever for this in order to destroy it easily. The fourth is one is definitely one to be using a helicopter for. The main reason I'm saying that is because when I was trying to snipe it, it was simply not there and it had despawned. So I feel it's probably one of those which is just too far away in order to be able to take down with normal guns. The 43rd one is going to be on top of another radio tower. Once again, much easier to just simply use a lock-on vehicle for this one or else you're going to have a very bad time. The 45th one is going to be on a windmill, but in order to make your life a lot easier, I give you a nice little clue because it's basically right next to the facility that you can get there. So after destroying all of them, you will be receiving an additional $50,000 and you will also get a text message from Lester telling you like, Hey, AV wants to be part of your crew now, so go and hire him. He will not be cheap. He will take 10% of your cut. How good he is, I don't know yet because I have to still test it out. However, AV was quite good during the pack standard and it's nice to see him back. So hopefully he'll be able to give you some more time as you're going for that finale and try to take a bigger take. But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed or found it useful. Subscribe for more Casino Heist DLC content coming to you very soon. And I'll see you all later.